Hey guys, so sorry about the offlining, but if you guys didn't know already, I have to film at night now because I have started school. I started school today and I was surprised to know how much fun and um, really good times I had today. I was really glad. And my French class is exactly everyone who was there last year, so we called it a family reunion and I was just really, really excited and happy. And yeah, so I'm going to get on to the video. I'm going to show you guys my powder face products collection like blushes bronzers and face powders and any highlighting products any cheek products really or powder face products and I'm going to show you guys that if you guys would like a foundation um collection because I do have quite a lot of foundations um considering um including BB creams and stuff like that um let me know in the comments or in my inbox um but yeah so basically when I store my blushes and bronzers and face powders and are these little containers, um, these are the exact same patterns, this one's just blue and this one's just green, and these are from Target, I think they were in the dollar section, and on the inner part they had polka dots, and they're really, really cute, and I saw it for storage, um, temporarily, and for a book, it's not that, ma that bad, and then also I have a drawer full of unused face products, that's including liquid too, so I have a few products I don't really use, so I'm just going to go through every product and give like a brief description, I'm not going to go too in depth, if you guys want a review on a product that you see in here that you maybe want to try, then let me know in comments or inbox, and yeah, so I'm going to get started with this first blue one, and in here I keep everyday um, contour and face products. So I have the three powders that I really like transition between. One is a winter color and two are kind of colors that I can use all year round basically. I have a blush that I really love. That's my favorite and I have a bronzer that I use almost every day. I have my highlighter and a translucent powder that I use every day if I use my Makeup Forever HD foundation. So I'm going to start with the winter powder. I have my Revlon color stay in the color light and this is the lightest color I think they have and it's just a super super light color and this is just um, what I keep in the back and I reach for this during the winter time when I'm that color then I have high beam which is my everyday um, highlighter basically this is by benefit and if you guys haven't seen this it's in a little nail polish um, container and it's just a pinky um, highlighter that really gives you a nice luminescent glow and I really like this and I blend that in with a brush and then I have my Hoola bronzer, which I use basically every day, and this is by Benefit too. And it's just a matte, um, chocolatey brown bronzer, and this is really nice because it is matte, and it gives a really nice contour no matter what your skin tone is, which I like because I like universal colors. Next thing I have sitting on top is my Makeup Forever HD um, High Definition Translucent Translucent Powder. God, I can't talk. Um... And it's just the little white traces and powder. And what I really like about this, if you guys didn't see all the <coughs> powder fly in the air, but it just got in my mouth. Um, if you guys have never tried this out, it's really nice, and it doesn't give you a white um, overcast on your face. The blush I have in here is a NARS blush, and it's in the color Madly. And it's one of my favorite blushes ever. And by the way, on my nails, I have Penny Talk by Essie. It's been very talked about lately. But it's, this is such a pretty natural color that I feel like you could use any season. And on your face, it just really blends in, and it isn't too much. And I actually wore this today for the first day of school because I didn't want to, like, overdo it with makeup because basically new freshmen that are coming into high school are making an impression on you, and you're making an impression on them, so I wasn't about to be, like, bam with makeup. Um, then I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and Medium Plus. And this is my favorite um, powder foundation-ish product. Um, I use this when I use BB creams and stuff if I need a little bit more coverage without just putting on, like, a sheer powder. So, yep, that's that. And I've had that for a really long time, and it lasts forever. Then I have another powder that I hit pan on that I transition from season to season. And it's my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, and I'm in the color Medium. And it's just a mattifying powder and... Um, me and my mom absolutely love this, and um, if I don't use this, I use that or a translucent powder. So that's within the first little thing, and I actually set these on top of my um, makeup collection drawer thing. Sorry if I keep pulling up my bandeau, but it's like slowly going down and I'm barely even moving. The next um, thing is this 
green one, and this is basically all my blushes and bronzers. I don't necessarily use all those products in there every single day. I transition from this um, one to that one with bronzers and blushes and highlighters. So the first thing I have in here that I see is Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit. This is just a little mini bottle. It's, let's see, 0.75 I think? No. 7.5 milliliters, so I'm not sure, oh, here we go, 0.25 fluid ounces, so U.S. fluid ounces, sorry. This is basically like NARS Orgasm Illuminator, it's a really pretty goldy, um, mauvey pink um, highlighter, and I really like this putting on the top of some of my cheekbones as a highlight. Then I have my Physician's Formula Healthy Wear Bronzer in a light, and this is just a SPF bronzer and I like to use this during the summertime when I just need a little bit of contouring but not too much and I wear that to, to the pool if I want contour but it also has that SPF in it. Next thing I have is a MAC blush in the color pink swoon and this is just a baby pink bright kind of neon color but on the cheeks is a really pretty nice flush and I love that. And then I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the color doll face, this is a mini size because I got it with a duo with um, Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, uh, uh, that's also by Tarte. And this is a really pretty um, light pink color. This is a little bit more sheer, but I like using this when I want my makeup to look a little bit more natural. Next one I have is CoverGirl, uh, I think this is called, yeah, the Cheekers Blush in the color Rose Silk. And again, I put pan on this. This is a really pretty um, summertime color because it's a corally golden shade and it's so pretty on the cheeks and if you pair it with a nice contour and a really light highlight it looks so good and I love this and that's why I so hit pan on. Um, the next one is a Wet n Wild blush in the color Mellow Wine. I never really liked Wet n Wild blushes. I thought they were kind of, I thought since they were such a cheap brand that they were not going to be good. When I heard a lot of people talking about their blushes and how pigmented they were, I went and tried one out, and this is like literally my favorite um, full time blush. It's literally perfect, and it's so pigmented, and I've barely made a dent in it. I've been using it forever. So that's the next one. Next thing is a Tarte uh, bronzer in the color of Park Avenue Princess. Like I said, it's an Amazonian clay bronzer, and it's such a pretty color. It's literally like the perfect shimmery bronzer and I love it and this is something I transition with my Hula bronzer. The next two are Revlon blushes. I have this one which is actually cracked so I'm not going to open this one but it's a Revlon powder blush in the color Love That Pink and it's a really nice light pink. This is super super sheer so I use this when I just want a tiny bit but not at all overpowering like something that I would wear like if I don't want a lot of makeup like something that's like eyeliner mascara kind of day. And then I have a Revlon Cream Blush in the color Rosy Glow, which reminds me of Lady Blush Cream Blush, which is discontinued by MAC. So that is why I bought this one, because I wanted to try out Lady Blush, but it was already discontinued when I wanted to go buy it. And this is a really nice sheer um, blush, and it's really blendable, and it's really creamy, and I love that, and it's cheap as well. Next one I have is a Too Faced Pulified Primping Sun Bunny bronzer and this is a dual sided bronzer um this one's a little bit more than this one i don't know if that's why i actually got this at nordstrom rack and um i guess it's just because like one side's bigger than the other or maybe it's supposed to be like that i'm not sure but it's really pretty and you can actually use this as a highlight as well if you use it really lightly or you can mix the two together and it's a really nice glowy bronze color next one i have i got in a Sephora little sample bag, and it's a Too Faced Peach Leopard Brightening and Perfecting Bronzer, and this is so, so, so pretty, and it has a little bit of a peach undertone, hence the word Peach Leopard, and it's such a pretty color, and I use this during the summertime mostly. And the last powder uh, products that I have in this little container thing, which, by the way, I need new storage because there's no way I can fit any more blush or bronzer in any of these. But um, the next one I have is a Benefit Boxed Powder Blush in the color Bella Bomba. And this is a 3D pink blush. And it's a really pretty watermelony color. It smells like watermelons, but it has a little bit of cold shimmer as well. And it's just really, really pretty. And um, that I keep in front because I reach for that one the most out of all of them. 
And then lastly, in the little unused drawer, which is a sad little drawer, but it's what I have in here. The first thing I had, I absolutely hate, and it's just crappy. You guys should see the packaging. Like, literally, that's all clear liquid. And the shimmery doesn't even mix with it. Like, if you guys can hear that, it's literally liquid, and it's not supposed to be like that. But it's just the e.l.f. shimmering facial whip in... I'm not sure if this is a color, but it's just the white one, and I absolutely hate this. Um, I'm either going to give this to my sister or my mom, because my sister really likes highlights, and my mom's never been introduced to those, unless I do her makeup. So, I'm either going to give it to her or my sister, but it was, like, super cheap, and I never use it, so that's why it's in that drawer. The next thing is actually broken, and it's just big and bulky, and that's why I have no room for it. But it's just my e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder. This is supposed to be a dupe for the NARS Orgasm and NARS Laguna Bronzer Duo. Um, but the mirror fell out. You guys can't see. And it's just so bulky and big. So I don't have room for it in those little containers. But <clears throat> this is supposed to be like NARS Orgasm. And this is supposed to be like Laguna. So I had that in when everyone was like raving about it. How it was like basically the same thing. And I've always wanted to try our orgasm in Laguna. I decided to buy this and I think it was like three bucks. The next thing I have is a Forever 21 blush. I think I got this gifted to me for some reason or I don't know something but it's a blush in the color pink apparently. It was only like five bucks and it's I cracked it yes I dropped it but it was actually a really pretty um, nice blush so I might pull this out every once in a while but just a simple little thing. The next thing I got gifted to me from Easter, I think it was, and this is by Marquins International Makeup Company. I'm not sure. I've never heard of them, but it's a super, super, super cheap brand, like cheaper than Elf. And um, this is like a trio. It comes with a blush, which is a corally color, a really, really super light bronzer, which I never used because literally it's basically just shimmer. Sorry, my sister just screamed. And this is like a champagne highlight color, and it's a, that's actually a really pretty highlight color. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's gorgeous, and I use that sometimes over top of any um, highlighting liquid. And the last one I have, hold on, sorry, there's a bunch of noise going on in the background. Um, the next one I have is a CoverGirl Classic Color Sorry, that is the most annoying thing ever. There's two dogs in my house, and they fight like cats and dogs, and they're crazy, crazy, crazy annoyed with each other. So my mom tries to control the situation, and that does not work, and she just came in. You guys can't hear the fighting to let the one dog in. It's actually my brother's dog, but he's on a honeymoon because he just got married. Sorry, stalled. Um, but this is a CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in the color Natural Glow. And this is actually... The first blush I've ever had in my entire life, and it's basically just shimmer, and I think it's just because my mom wanted me to have, like, a light layer of makeup, but it's actually a really pretty corally color with a bunch of shimmer, and it's so pretty, and that's just in there just because, I don't know, I guess I just never used it that much, and that's why I just decided to put it in here, because it's something that I don't use on a daily basis. So that's that, if you guys want, like, um, oh wait, there's one more. It's actually a highlighting powder. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Micro Minerals Foundation. And this is nowhere near a foundation. It's not even a powder. It doesn't mattify. It doesn't do anything for my face. Basically, what it does is put a bunch of shimmer on my face. And this, sorry, that's my dog's, or my brother's German Shepherd. Um, but it's in Classic Ivory. I'm going to try to talk as loud as I can. But it's just basically a shimmer. And I just use this as a highlighting powder if I have no other choice. Or maybe I don't want to use a cream product, then I'll just use this. And, yeah, that is the last one. But, yeah, if you guys want, like, a foundation collection, I have two just sitting in front of me. If you guys want those, um, let me know, and I'll show you guys all of my liquid face products. But, yeah, that is about it. That concludes my blush, bronzer, face powder um, collection. And I will see you guys in my next video. And I'm actually getting a haul. I actually ordered two things off of the Urban Decay sale on Hot Look. And I've gone to Sephora lately and Forever 21. So I have those things if you guys want to see those. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. No!